this is Lauren from Daisy Cottage Designs and I'm here with a video tutorial for you today on the pattern that you see on your screen. This is a new blanket pattern that's on the Daisy Cottage Designs website as well as in my Etsy shop. So I will provide links in the description below to the written pattern for you. And then what you're going to need to do is grab a J crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. I am using Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn in the shade Glacier for this swatch and I use the shade Linen for the full size blanket. Now I'm going to walk you through how to do this pattern step by step, but I'm just gonna walk you through a small swatch because if we were going to walk through the whole blanket, it would take us a very long time. So we are just going to go step by step, but we are going to do it on a small swatch. Okay, so for this swatch, I want you to chain 11. So the multiple for this pattern is any odd number. Um, so for our little swatch, we're going to chain 11. All right, and I'm using a J crochet hook. So the first thing you, that you are going to want to do is make your foundation row. And the foundation row is just going to be a row of single crochets. So you're going to single crochet in the second chain and in each stitch across. So for our swatch, when we're done, we'll have 10 single crochets. So I like to work into this little nub on the back. So I have a really nice finished edge on the bottom, but you can just crochet um, into the chain however you usually do. So I'm going to do, I apparently chained really tightly today, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 single crochets. So that's my foundation row. And now what we're going to do is we are going to chain two and turn our work. And in the pattern, I have said that it will make your life easier if you are just starting this pattern to go ahead and put a stitch marker around that chain two. So I'm going to do that just to help us when we get back to working around that chain two. Okay, so we are going to skip this first stitch and we are going to single crochet into the second stitch. So we've single crocheted into that second stitch. Now we're going to chain one and we'll skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the one after that. And then we'll chain one and then we'll skip the next single crochet and we'll single crochet into the one after that and chain one. And then we will skip the next single crochet and single crochet into the one after that and chain one. And now we will work a single crochet into the last single crochet of our row. And after that, we will chain two and turn our work. And I am going to put a stitch marker there as well. And I'm just going to do that on these first couple of rows to help you see where you would put the stitch markers. Okay, and I'm sorry if they click on this surface a little bit. So we have our chain two. And now if you look along this row, we have single crochets and we have chain one spaces. So you should have one, two, three, four chain one spaces, and then this chain two at the end. So we are working into the chain one spaces on this row. So you're going to insert your hook under that chain one, and you're, so you're going to single crochet right there. And then you'll chain one, and then you'll single crochet in this next chain one space, and chain one, and then we'll single crochet in the next chain one space, and chain one, and then we'll single crochet into this chain one space, and chain one again, and then now we've come to that chain two. So sometimes you work into the actual chains. We are going to put our hook under those chains and single crochet there. So let me show you again. So instead of working into an actual chain stitch, you're just going to put your hook into that loop and single crochet there. Okay, and then I'm going to chain two and turn my work. And then what I could do is I could move that stitch marker up around here. Now, after a row or two, you're just going to automatically know where to put your hook, so you won't need your stitch markers anymore, but when you're starting out, it might help you a little bit. All right, so we are going to do the same thing on this row. So we've got our chain one spaces, and we are going to work a single crochet into each one of those. So there's a single crochet, and now we're gonna chain one. And then here's our next chain one space, so we're going to single crochet into that. 
Okay, so I hope this is the same angle. For some reason, my video cut off. So I am going to try to pick up where I left off and just put them together. But what we are going to do is we are going to single crochet and chain one into each chain one space across. So we have a single crochet and a chain one, and here's our last chain one space. So we'll single crochet and chain one into that. And now we're at our last, um, we're at our chain two. So we're going to insert our hook under that chain two and just single crochet right around it, okay? So I think now you should know where you're going to insert your hook so we can probably stop with the stitch markers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take mine out. But if you feel like you still need them, that's not a problem. Okay, so what we are going to do, I'm just gonna make sure my focus is in the right spot. Bear with me for just a second. Okay. All right, so what we are going to do is we're gonna work one more row of moss stitch. So we're gonna chain two, and we are going to single crochet into this first chain one space and chain one, and then we'll single crochet into that next chain one space and chain one, and then we'll do the same thing in the next two chain one spaces. So we're gonna single crochet and chain one, and then single crochet and chain one, and then when we get to this chain two, at the end, we're going to insert our hook underneath the chain two and work a single crochet right there. All right, so now we're going to switch and we're gonna work the other rows. Um, it's more of a double crochet cluster or a double crochet two together section. So what you're going to do is you're still going to chain two and turn your work, and we're still gonna be working into these chain spaces across. But the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to work a double crochet two together, starting in this stitch, and finishing in this one. So let me show you exactly how to do that. So we are going to yarn over and insert our hook into that first chain one space and pull up a loop. So there are three loops on your hook and just like you would in a normal double crochet, you're going to yarn over and pull through those first two loops. So there's two loops on your hook, but you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into this next chain one space and pull up a loop. So there are four loops on your hook now. So you're gonna pull through those first two loops and now you'll pull through those remaining three loops. And after you've finished your double crochet two together, you're going to chain one, and then you are going to start your next double crochet two together in the same chain one space. So you'll yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop, pull through those first two loops. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. There are three loops left. Now pull through all three loops. So as you can see, we finished the first double crochet two together and started the second one in this same chain one space. So in every chain one space across from now on, you're going to have one double crochet two together finishing and one starting. So after each double crochet two together, so we've just finished one, you're going to chain one now you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the same stitch or same chain one space and pull up a loop. There are three loops on your hook. Pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook. Pull through those first two loops. Now pull through all three loops and chain one. And now remember, we're gonna start our next double crochet two together in that same chain one space. So yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook. Now what you're going to do is you're going to finish your last double crochet two together underneath this chain two. So we'll yarn over and insert our hook underneath the chain two and pull up a loop, pull through the first two loops on your hook, and now pull through all three loops on your hook chain one again, and now work another double crochet, just a regular double crochet around that chain two. So we'll double crochet right there. Okay, so that is what your first row of the double crochet clusters will look like. So chain two and turn your work. And we're going to do the same thing on this row. So we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into that first chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. Now we're gonna finish that stitch in this chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull your yarn through the first two loops on your hook. 
and now pull your yarn through the remaining three loops. Chain one after that. And now we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that same chain one space and pull up a loop. Three loops on our hook. Pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space. Pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook and then pull through the remaining three loops. And then we'll chain one. And now we'll start our next decrease or double crochet two together in that same chain one space. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the next chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through those first two loops and now pull your yarn through the remaining three loops on your hook. Now we're going to chain one and we'll start our double crochet two together in this same chain one space and then we'll end it around this chain two. So yarn over and insert your hook into the same chain one space and pull up a loop. Pull through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and insert your hook into the chain two, under the chain two at the end. Pull through the first two loops, pull through all three loops and then we're gonna chain one and we'll work a double crochet right around that chain two. Okay, so that's what your first two rows of the cluster stitches will look like. Then chain two, and I'm gonna work one more row. And so I'm gonna start my double crochet D, uh, two together in the first stitch and finish it in the next. And then I'm gonna chain one and I'm going to start the next one in that same chain one space and finish it in the next and chain one. I'm going to start it in the same chain one space and finish it in the next and chain one. I'm going to start it in this last chain one space and then I'm going to finish it underneath the chain two and chain one. And then I'm gonna work a double crochet around the same spot, okay. So now we're gonna switch back to our moss stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain two and turn our work. And even though our stitches are different, we still have chain one spaces all the way across. So we're just going to work into those chain one spaces. So here we'll single crochet into that first chain one space and then we'll chain one. And then we'll single crochet into the next chain one space and chain one. And then you're gonna single crochet into the next space and chain one. And then we'll single crochet into the last chain one space and chain one. And then we're going to insert our hook underneath the chain two and single crochet. So we are back on moss stitch now. And so we'll work at least one more row. So chain two, turn your work. So we're going to single crochet into this chain one space and chain one, and then we're gonna do the same thing in every chain one space. So we'll single crochet and chain one, we'll single crochet and chain one, we'll single crochet and chain one, and then I'm going to work a single crochet underneath or around that chain two at the end of the row, okay? I'm gonna work one more, so I'll chain two, and then I'll single crochet in this first chain one space, and chain one, I'll single crochet in the next chain one space, and chain one, and then I'm gonna do it in the rest of those spaces. And then when I get to the chain two at the end of the row, I'm gonna put my hook under that chain two and work a single crochet right around it. All right, so you will just repeat those steps for the pattern. So you'll alternate rows of moss stitch and rows of cluster stitches and rows of moss stitch. So for the pattern, I started with 15 rows of moss stitch and then five rows of um, the cluster stitches and then 10 rows of moss stitch, five rows of cluster stitches, 10 rows of moss stitch, five rows of cluster stitches. And then once I got to the length I wanted, I finished with 15 rows of moss stitch. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to um, send me a message on Etsy or shoot me an email and I will do my best to answer them. So I hope you have a great day. Happy crocheting and I'll talk to you soon.